Hello, thank you for joining me for this app session. It's going to be short, something that you can do before a workout, before work, in the evening, sometime when you don't have a whole lot of time to move your body, but you want to do something or you know that it's important to do something. So this is a great session to incorporate in as part of that. Bring yourself down, lying on your back. Just take a moment to breathe. Filling yourself up all the way and then emptying out all the way. And as you take those breaths, on your exhale, get this intentional core activation. Inhale, expand. Exhale, core engages. So as we do some ab work, you're working the superficial abs on the top, but I want you to also be aware of this deep core connection to work your deep abdominal levels. So each exhale, Think about this abdominal connection from the inside as we work the ones on the top on the outside. So with that in mind, take your hands up behind your head. As you exhale, coming into your curl up, inhale, lowering. So I'm going to progress this along. We'll start just kind of down with some foundations. Thinking about these ribs getting to collect together as you come up. You should feel belly button pulling in, this deepening all the way. Just do those little check-ins. So even now as I do this, after having done it for a long time, I still always check in. Finding my head heavy in my hands so that my neck isn't working or feeling tired. And it's just some deep ab work from my center. Then from there, when you are down, lift both of your legs up into tabletop. Exhale, pressing one away. Return as you lower, other side. Now, the, by adding your legs in, obviously we are adding lever length. If it is too much, then stay with your legs in tabletop or on the floor. On your next set or after your next set leave your legs in tabletop lowering yourself down now your left leg comes down right leg crosses over into your figure four and now you're coming up toward your right knee so it's a little bit trickier here because of the alignment of your legs and the trickier bit is in keeping your pelvis neutral but you're gonna get some oblique work now happening Feel that twisting action. Come up this time, and then your left arm comes across, pushes on your knee, and then return and lower. Exhale, coming up, pushing, and return. So you can curl up here and push on it. You can just reach with it. You can do it without, it doesn't matter. Again, we're just progressing, adding a little bit more of a challenge. Do three more here on this side. Two. Last one. Leave yourself down, but leave your legs crossed. And you're gonna drop them now over to the left side. So the foot of the leg that is on the front is gonna to come towards the floor. Feel that nice little bit of a twist there. Then back to the center, uncross your legs, take your hands up behind your head, returning to your sagittal curl up. So exhale, curl it up, inhale, lower. Now this one is a progression again further from the first one. So if you would like to come along, I will instruct you shortly. Otherwise, feel free to just focus in here on this upper abdominal work you should be feeling it by now pretty strongly up by your sternum. Nothing in your lower back. To come along for the progression, when you are down, lift your legs both up into tabletop. And then this time as you curl up, you're going to send both of them out. So curling up, press, lower, and in. Again, longer levers, more work into your abdominals. Try to really feel that you can deepen them instead of having your back arch off. We're only going to be here for three more. 
two, last one. From here, your right foot comes down to the floor, left leg crosses over, and then obliques here. Rotate it across and return. Exhale, deepening, twisting, breathing. And again, check in that your pelvis here gets to stay level as your shoulder blade peels off and it's like your armpit goes towards your thigh. Once you have that sorted out, if you wish, right arm comes across, push or reach and lower. So it just means, with, uh, with lifting your arm or taking your arm out, it just means, again, there is the lever that's longer, makes it a little bit more challenging. Breathe through it, pressing and returning. We're going to do three more here on this side. Two. Last one. Leave yourself down, arms to the sides. And then let that crossed over leg come down towards the floor like you're trying to set your foot down the floor, looking in opposite direction. And then bring yourself back through the center. Arms and legs fold, lengthen out, reaching up overhead, coming through your roll up. Tuck your chin towards your chest and bring yourself through, reaching and returning. So if the roll up is too much for you, feel free to come up or uh, with your hands supporting you. You can do them on the floor or behind your hamstrings. Or if you wish, you can come just halfway down. So come to your seated and then just come halfway down here and then return back up. We're gonna do two more of the full roll down, finishing in your seated position. And then once you are up there, we're gonna to go to the half roll down. So you start from here, tap your tab on under, flexing, and then returning. I'm just gonna move back a little bit on my mat. So look for this scooping action here of your abs. So your back can flex and round, but not a whole bunch happening here in your upper back. So it's your lower back that we really wanna feel that happening in. This idea of your pelvis being a wheel that gets to roll under. You're doing a really awesome job. This is not easy stuff. This time when you are back, pause back there. Palms turn towards the floor. Reach opposite arm towards opposite foot. So you're going to stay back and you're twisting, reaching, breathing. One more on either side. Then bring yourself all the way up. Good, have a little pause there. Give that, 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 those abs a little bit of a release. Then take your hands back behind you. Bring your legs together. First thing, get this work to open up across your collarbones. So just come through a few of those. Imagine you're trying to shine your heart forward, opening your chest. Then when you're ready, Bring your opening up and then bring yourself up from your long plank position and then lift and lower. Breathe through. Look for that nice long line up the back chain. Lots of work. Two more on either side. And then we're going to stay up in the air. So from here, you're going to pivot around rotating to come into your front plank. So now hands are underneath your shoulders. Find that nice long line. You'll be gazing slightly in front of your fingers. Choose a leg to start on. Lift, press, press, lower. Other side. Lift, press, press, lower. So this is a plank, obviously. Lots of work for your abs underneath. Think about that breathing, connecting. Soft bend into your elbows so if they're not locking out and going into your wrists. One more set on either side. Really good work, everyone. 
Then from there, bend your knees, come down into your four point kneeling. Find your neutral spine, opposite arm, opposite leg, press them out and return. So now getting to focus in on these core stabilizers. A little bit less work than previously, but just as important because your core stabilizers are the ones that hold you upright and help in cases of balance, help improve your posture. Really think about pushing each your arm and leg away in opposite directions. One more on either side. Then park it there in the middle, separating your knees, press back into your child's pose. Breathe there, opening up. And then bringing yourself all the way up. That is your ab sequence. Well done, thank you so much for being here and doing this with me. Enjoy your day, your evening, your wherever it is that you're going next and well done on showing up and being here. Thank you.